गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल हाड्रॉन स्किल सेंटर नियर फाउंटेन चौक हेमना नगर आर सेंटर कोड इज जीरो थ्री फोर आई एम अंकित शर्मा स्टूडेंट वी वर डिस्कसिंग कोर्ट्स एंड इट सिक्योरिटी इन द लास्ट सेक्शन एंड वी हैव डिस्कस्ड फर्दर मोर लास्ट इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द नेटवर्क प्रोटोकॉल एंड इट सिक्योरिटी बिफोर दैट वी हैव डिस्कस्ड कोर्ट्स एंड इट सिक्योरिटी सो टूडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द फायर वॉल्स so our contents will be what is firewall types of firewalls and benefits of using that firewall so let's start with what is firewall you have listened this kind of name uh, like firewall what is firewall you used to listen most probably everywhere that we use firewall 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 so what is what, what is firewall it is firewalls are both software program as well as hardware component your firewall can be used as a software program as well as it can be used as a hardware component that preserves our security and maintaining safety from unauthorized access what does firewall do firewall secures your systems it maintains your safety it helps you to maintain your information main information personal data and information plus it maintain safety from unauthorized accesses what is unauthorized uh, like illegitimate illegitimate users who do not have any kind of access to that system data and information they used to hack or theft or try to gain that kind of data or information to stop that unauthorized access of the, those external agents firewall is being used so particularly they act as a vital part of comprehensive security framework for any network means they act as a security framework they work as a security uh, like you have seen in banks there are security persons who used to check uh, whether the customer coming or whether the person individual coming in the bank is authorized or unauthorized whether he has came for some kind of his own work uh, legitimate work or illegitimate work like robbery bank robbery all such things so it was it is a kind work of this that security guard so firewall is same like that security guard okay <clears throat> so what it do as security guard inspects everything so same it expect the firewall inspects every packet that comes and goes out uh, it works same as that security guard okay when any packet comes or i must say when any individual come it will check that and when any packet will go in uh, these are called inbounds and outbounds in firewall okay for a specific purposes only if any kind of packet comes then it, it inspects those inbound packets and when whether it is going outside then it will check that outgoing packets it will inspect that outgoing packet and it determines whether it needs to be passed or blocked Firstly, it inspects. Then it determines whether this thing should be inbounded into the system or get should be outbounded from the system. So it has two kind of things. Like uh, the first one was inspection, and the second was is determination. So uh, let me tell you in short what is firewall. Firewall defends our resources from validating access. It defends our resources by validating access managing. and organizing legitimate network traffic at different at different events security analyst gets specialized trainings to set the policy for the firewall using that firewall inspection and determinations uh, the professionals have been providing that trainings for that maintaining that firewall okay so that they can filter and monitor the things easily So let's come to the next topic that is types of firewalls. So the first one comes is packet filtering firewall. Packet filtering firewall. It is the first of its kind used for network security. and is accountable for filtering and checking incoming data packets 
it inspects or it filters and checks that incoming data packets which allow data from specific ip addresses types of packets specific ports numbers etc as you know there is unique ip address for everything okay for every system there is unique ip addresses there is unique type of packet specific port numbers have been given to that systems so what it do it checks and monitors that kind of things and filter which is the legitimate and which is illegitimate the next comes is circuit level firewall so what is circuit level firewall it is used for operating at the session level it is used to monitor the tcp tcp transfer transmission control protocol handshakes rather than rather than data packets to check whether the sessions are genuine or not the circuit level checks the genuineism of that system of that kind of uh, systems which are being coming or inbounded into the system or it might help that inbound or outbound of systems okay so a particular kind of sessions are required to check that kind of uh, genuineism next comes the stateful inspection firewall stateful inspection firewall it is used for filtering both data packets as well as session filtering now this kind of firewall what it do is it filters that data packets as well as session filtering in a particular as it works like both packet filtering firewall and as well as circuit level firewall so it checks for active sessions in network packets whether they are legitimate or not next comes is application level firewall application level firewall functions at the it functions at the application layer it works on the last layer last layer is application layer okay so it works at the application layer filtering is done by them a uh, filtering of tra traffic is done by them but concerning the applications for which they have been planned there are different kind of applications for this uh, that kind of filtering of traffic networks are being used are being done by that application level firewall so now we have discussed what is firewall and types of firewall <clears throat> now we will be discussing about benefits of firewall it stop attacks on your network from external networks and agents it stop attacks on your networks from external networks external networks or external agents okay and it acts as a filter like refining of things okay so filtering of things and keeps away that non authoritative user it permits monitoring the network security and alarms its users when any malicious activity is detected any kind of activity is detected by them then it stops that thing and checks or inspects the things for it also observes as well as record services used by ww ftp and some commonly used protocols uh, information technology also observes these things they helps in uh, services recording used by the world wide web file transfer protocols and some other commonly used protocols the last one is it also blocks or unblocks those inbound and outbound packets which are legitimate or illegitimate as i told you what are legitimate and illegitimate users and what i told you that if anything is coming inside the system that will be inbound and something is going outside the system that will be outbound so inbound and outbound procedures are being checked by that firewall as i told you an example of that security guard in bank so 
these are the benefits of firewalls and i have discussed types of firewalls plus what is firewall in next lecture we will be discussing about the ids and ips for security thank you students